Hi, Ted here with Blue Forest, and today we're going to take a look at the balsam poplar, Poplis balsamifera, also known in these parts as popple, also known in these parts as balm of Gilead. Um, so what, we're looking at a small specimen right here, and it's winter time. So I'm doing a series of plants, trees mostly, and how to ID them both in winter, and then we'll do a corresponding uh, summer version. But one of the one of the key ways to recognize the balsam poplar is the buds. If we zoom in here, <clears throat> and one of the buds, you can see that they're rather large. Now this is a tree that looks a lot like uh, quaking aspen but the buds are quite different. Um, that's a good way to tell. Its common name, Balm of Gilead, refers to the, refers to the buds. Um, they're very resinous, and the resin can be used medicinally uh, in a lot of ways, uh, in, in healing salves and other applications. Uh, usually you collect those in uh, early spring before they open up, but we can even pull one off here in the winter. And if I scrunch it with my fingers, it's gonna get, uh, leave a sticky residue, a resiny thing. And if you smell it, it definitely has a uh, kind of pungent odor to it, uh, which is a telltale sign. Found a uh, quaking aspen growing nearby. We can compare the buds. Looks like a lot of these ends were nibbled off by deer, but you can see they're much smaller than the balsam poplar. If you break one off and crush it in your fingers, it's definitely not resinous-y and it doesn't have that same smell. And, you know, if we look at the bark, pretty similar, again, in that gray. It's a little bit lighter and it does differentiate a bit as the tree gets older, it's just as a comparison. Another way, another characteristic about the balsam poplar is that it re-sprouts once cut. I'm in the area where a lot of balsam was cut a few years ago and you can see the re-sprouting. There's an example, there's one, uh, there's one, you zoom there, there's one, there's one. So this will readily grow back once cut. It's a good good tree for biomass production. It grows back quickly and pretty consistently. The bark is another telltale sign to look at. It has uh, a grayish bark. It's usually kind of smooth, although as it gets older, uh, it gets a little bit more furrowed, as you can see starting to happen at the base of this tree. Um, it does look similar to the quaking aspen again, but it's a little darker, a little bit more gray. That whereas the quaking aspen leans towards a little bit more white. We'll take a look at some bigger species and compare them. Got a good shot here of, of the three species that grow together that can look somewhat similar from bark, especially from afar. On this side, we got the paper birch, which has a very white and peeling bark. And it can sometimes look like that tree, which is quaking aspen. Similar white, although it's a little darker. And then next to the aspen, are these, which are the balsam poplar. Let's take a closer look. Especially as you go up the tree, it gets lighter. Um, but down at the base, it's getting more furrowed here as it gets older. This one, we don't have access to any of the buds. Although if we look up at the crown, you, the buds are definitely apparent as being rather large. So that's our sign. 
in the winter. We're looking at a balsam poplar. The paper birch, by contrast, once you get close enough, it's pretty easy to tell. The bark peels off and it's a bright white. Usually you only confuse these from afar. You can go take a look at this quaking aspen. Uh, it does look similar. Again, it's lighter in color as we go up. So this is a quaking aspen right here. Right next to it, we got the balsam poplar. You can see it's a darker gray, although they're 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 close. Down at the bottoms, uh, it's a little harder to tell. They're both getting furrowed, and they're both kind of a dark gray. Um, so I'd look for bark color is one. If we go up into the crown of the aspen, the buds are not as apparent. So that's, that's another sign. If you're looking up into the crowns of the balsam poplar, the buds do look a little bigger. So if you can't access the buds, it's a way to tell the difference. Hope that was informative and we'll take another look at these plants come summertime when the leaves are our guide. Thanks.